Hello, welcome to 5 Minute Friday. I'm Holly Collins, Coordinator of Parent and Family Engagement for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Distance learning has brought up many questions regarding attendance. You may be wondering why attendance taking is even necessary since students aren't physically in class, or what qualifies as an excused absence during distance learning. Today I have Truancy Prevention Specialist Antonio Gibson and Attendance Liaison Astrid Sanchez as my guests, and they are going to answer questions that you may have about attendance requirements during distance learning. Hello, my name is Antonio Gibson, Truancy Prevention Specialist for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Now don't let the title Truancy Prevention alarm you. My role is simply to provide needed support to ensure students are participating in their daily instruction and to examine reasons for excessive absences to address those barriers. Research shows students who participate in their daily instructional learning are most likely to stay on track, stay engaged, and meet major academic milestones. To monitor a student's participation in assignments during distance learning, a weekly engagement record is completed for each student. This record tracks each student's daily participation and assignment completion. Daily participation is documented based on the student's daily synchronous and asynchronous participation. Synchronous learning is a real-time learning event with peers and the teacher and involves active two-way interaction. Some examples of synchronous learning include your student's participation in Google Meets, either with the whole class or in small groups. Asynchronous learning is learning that occurs apart from others. Some examples of asynchronous learning include watching pre-recorded videos from teachers, working independently on an assignment, project, or reading. The tracking of assignments will be managed through Google Classroom. A student who does not participate in synchronous or asynchronous instruction will be marked as a non-participant for that day. Families of students marked as such will receive an automatic phone call that same evening, notifying the parent or guardian of the student's non-participation. Absences for non-participating students without a valid excuse will be marked as unexcused. Students with a valid excuse will be marked as excused. Students who do not participate for 10% or more of the instructional days will be deemed chronically absent. Hello everyone, my name is Astrid Sanchez and I'm an attendance liaison with the Fairfield to Sioux Unified School District. As liaisons, we encourage and support student attendance as well as build rapport with families and students. I will be presenting questions that parents and caregivers may have regarding attendance. Is a doctor's note required if my student is absent due to an appointment? A doctor's note is not required to excuse non-participation for that appointment, but you will need to email the attendance clerk and notify the teacher of the reason for non-participation for that day. What if my student is sick and cannot participate in synchronous learning? Contact the attendance clerk and your student's teacher to notify them the student is ill and therefore will not be able to participate in synchronous instruction for that day. What if my student misses synchronous learning due to a technical issue? Contact the attendance clerk and your student's teacher and explain that your student is having technical issues with logging on and participating in synchronous instruction. Why did I get a phone call about my student not participating? A student who does not participate in either synchronous or asynchronous instruction will be marked as a non-participant for that day. Families of students marked as such will receive an automatic phone call that same evening, notifying the parent or guardian of the student's absence. What if my student has to leave town or the state due to an emergency? Contact the attendance clerk and your student's teacher to let them know that your student had to leave town or the state for an emergency. It will be helpful to provide a brief explanation of the emergency so the clerk can determine if the absence will be excused or unexcused. Can you give me an example of an excused absence? An example of an excused absence will be for a death within the immediate family. How about an unexcused absence? An example of an unexcused absence will be for a student who overslept and missed their instruction. 
Thank you so much, Antonio and Astrid, for sharing that important information with us today. Hopefully, some of your attendance questions have been answered, but you may have more. If you have additional questions regarding attendance, please contact your school site's attendance clerk. And if you need further support, you may also contact your student school site's attendance liaison. Check the description box below for links to our website and social media. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you have a suggestion for a future 5-Minute Friday topic, email it to me at engage at fsusd.org. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next Friday.